I'm Fola Shadi Ogunshola. I'm a professor of medical microbiology at the College of Medicine, University of Lagos. And I was involved with the Ebola out, outbreak in Nigeria. I have some experience in the field. I, I go on behalf of WHO to Uganda. Uh, what struck me about the Ebola response in Nigeria, or what struck me about the outbreak in Nigeria, was that it was really an outbreak of fear. More people died from the fear, both in the community and amongst healthcare workers. Our strategy was to rapidly upscale what we had on ground, a strategy we had used for polio and guinea worm eradication, which was using the incident manager uh, structure. It required that we had a central, strong central coordinating center and that we engaged the community early, used media effectively and sent out short, short, easily understood messages. The other thing was that treatment only occurred in treatment centers, not in any of the major hospitals. Everybody had to refer to the treatment center so that everything was concentrated in the hands of experts. We used a lot of volunteers and it was gratifying that people came out in droves after the initial fear. The fear was palpable and we had to design our messages to healthcare workers in a way that allowed them to recognize that not working, not opening their hospitals was going to worsen the epidemic and was going to affect them more adversely. We used what we termed enlightened self-interest to get them across. What we said was at the present moment, the epidemic in Nigeria was still pretty contained, was hospital acquired and we could trace everybody to the index patient. If they let it go, then we wouldn't be able to. And so there was a little fear mongering in our messages that after this, if we allowed it to get wild and everybody was going to churches and tribal uh, traditional healers, then Ebola would come in through schools from the market and we wouldn't be able to hold it. And the other thing was that we did practical IPC. We actually went there and showed them how to set up isolation centers in their hospitals. Now, when I use the word isolation, it was really not an isolation center for treatment. It was an isolation spot to move patients who were suspects away from other patients. And we, 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 were, we went as simple as to say that there was no facility that could not have an area to isolate patients. A chair in a corner could be an isolation, as long as you cordoned it off. And, but there were certain things that had to be there. There had to be a waste disposal uh, section, i.e. could be a black bag in a plastic bucket. There had to be disinfection. There had to be a, way, a, a little register, which could be paper with the name of any healthcare worker that went in there. So essentially, we kept it very simple and worked to the level of the healthcare facility. It was exciting because the other thing that happened is that Nigeria generally has a fragmented healthcare structure. Everybody came together. And for the first time, the academia and the established structures were used maximally, which was exciting for me. Mm -hmm.